Click. Okay, well. Where am I? What yeah, where are thing? we? I've already forgotten. And we just switched videos. How far is this elevator? Which direction am I going in? Okay, we're in Talon Overworld. <laughs> That's where I, I am. I bet you I'm heading... Have I picked the plasma beam yet? Nope, we're uh, just no, heading we're there. We're still working on that. Yeah. Well, yeah, we had to get all the way through the Chozo ruins. Yeah, now we we have to go to the Thardis room. Oh yeah, that topic that you were talking about last uh, oh, episode. Geez. Oh yeah, I wanted to do a little chat on Halo 4 slash uh, Halo 5. Groovy. For lack of a better term, that I'm gonna just call it Halo 5. Slash, yeah. Which is what 343 is calling Halo Xbox One. I, it actually gone. might it might make a difference because you know if it's actually not. You know, because who knows, maybe it won't be five, because it will kind of be, to use the Japanese term, a Gaiden. It might, who knows, it might be that. I swear to God, if they and name then, it And then they'll do five later, who knows. I swear to God, if they name it Halo 1, I'm going to be so pissed. Even Xbox isn't that bad with the Mount Clutcher. And I hope so. Games. I doubt, they're not even going to call it Halo Xbox 1, that's obviously the placeholder. Yeah. But anyway. just the fact if they name it Halo 1. <laughs> no, there's no way, like I said. Well, look at it this way. Microsoft, we may be saying that they got... It was a stupid idea if we can call it the Xbox One, even though we kind of figure out why maybe they called it that. But they're still not Nintendo in, in needing to insert their console's name into half their games. Yeah. So, they Have no fear. The Wii is here. <laughs> oh, but uh, that topic again. Yes, yes, yes. So, been just, uh, I've, I was bored earlier today, so I was just catching up on what any information on Halo 5 had been released, just to kind of see what we do, quote unquote new, uh. speculated, and one of the things I heard while, because I tend to, like, listen to videos, like Halo if 5 I can find a, if well yeah I like Halo 5 follower but if there are other people that have videos too but if I find a video I, I tend to read the comments too so I'm doing two things at once yeah I'm absorbing two sources of information my god hey you finally killed the mushroom things but, actually uh, they just disappear when you uh, come back <laughs> there's so many triggers in this game to change room things how the mushroom thing I bet you it's the grapple beam I bet you when you get the grapple beam it disappears <laughs> the mushroom thinks we're not needed anymore. Our job is done. I don't even know what their point is. Anyway, so Halo 5 follower also had this opinion, but and then, so I guess I have to slightly disagree with him. But I've seen I've seen other people have the same opinion as well. Uh, one of the things people complained about Halo 4 was that it felt like, in some ways, it wasn't the finished product. Um. Because there was just so much missing from previous games, to just put it a certain way. If anything, it was more of a uh, restrictive Halo. And hopefully I can articulate my thoughts and feelings on this well enough. Because, you know, put on the pressure, I sometimes uh, blank out what I'm trying to say and I don't say it nearly as well as I can think it. Um... So if I suddenly go quiet because I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to say, just keep keep the audience entertained with something. Nice and fun. Uh, Samus is raising the roof, but uh, <laughs> yeah, horrible pun. Well, I guess that's LJ's new job. Yep, crappy puns, but uh, yeah. Uh, okay, well here, okay here, I think I think there because three four three. I mean. I might not say, everything I say might not make any logical jump. There might be some logic jumps, so I apologize ahead of time. And some of it might not make any connection. <laughs> and some of these things might not actually be all said from, you know, the same person, or same people, but it's just all a whole amogulation of things I was reading this, uh, earlier today. So, not to, not to say any, all of these things apply to anyone or any one people. Just a whole bunch of things. And yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh yeah, but what were you, uh... That, uh... So 343 is still a relatively new company. Yes. And, uh, I don't know how... I don't, I, I don't know... All their... And they're... I mean, they're objectively new 
from an organizational standpoint. I don't know how much of their staff is actually, you know, perhaps incredibly experienced. You know, maybe they've worked on a whole lot of titles. But, so... Ah, my jaw hurts. But, they're a relatively new studio. So, yeah. we've already admitted that they... That's probably one of the reasons why Halo 4 wasn't nearly as, uh, large when it comes to the number of things as, uh, Halo Reach or Halo 3, you know. You know, just previous titles. You know, just generic previous titles. And because of this, there's sort of this thought going around that people should not expect. Now, perhaps I'm taking this, to me, I say expect. Perhaps we're right. Perhaps we shouldn't expect. But... Perhaps we shouldn't expect uh, new, more things, like a really large number of new things to come in Halo 5, because we're already demanding that they catch up already. See, uh, that, but uh, I, back... I think the words I've been hearing most often are expect. Perhaps we shouldn't, shouldn't expect, but I feel that we should request yeah. that they put in more, because but look at it this way. A lot of, a lot of the fans have been worrying that sort of similar to what Zelda fans have been fearing, and it sort of been, and it sort of has happened already, that Halo is losing its significance. See, Zelda that... used to be have large significance in the gaming community. Now it's uh, well, that was a short episode. Why did I make such a short episode? Time. Uh... Oh, uh, um, uh, pacing. See that that goes back to my uh, argument. Uh, my uh, my uh, little thing I said. Uh... Couple episodes well, back. since this is so short, people, I'll provide. I'll just say right now. I think we'll chat a little while on this, but if you just want to watch from a lot of the video, you can skip. Yeah, but if I'm you want to, sure. if you want to hear us talk about this, we'll chat for a few more minutes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Aaron will throw in a picture or a couple gifts of a just to keep you guys entertained while we I talk. I will attempt. I will but attempt. uh, yeah, that brings back to my point back a uh, couple episodes at uh, three four three. They're a talented team. They're just not experienced. And like yeah, so like I was saying, I think the Halo, I think the Halo people, the fans of Halo, are starting to fear that it's uh, losing its importance, its significance in the in the greater quote greater gaming community. I'll call it. Oh. Uh, and if 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 if, if Halo Five is still playing catch up. With older titles in the Halo series, it's sort of like what I've been saying about Metroid. That's that's bad. Well, that's bad. Remember what I said about Metroid? Yeah. To be honest, if we really wanted to do justice to the series, we'd almost have to make another game that's not a sequel, just to fix something, just so we can make the sequel right. Yeah. Well, if we shouldn't request three four three to step up their game to to 12 to bring back what they've taken out due to either it doesn't really matter whether they took it out because they want because they didn't think people wanted it they didn't want it because they you know you know no offense I don't really like it when people say we want to put our own thing on it because when I hear that most of the time what I hear is Oh god. I hear bullcrap meter talking. I know that's mean, but that's what I hear. Yeah. Maybe I probably picked that I probably picked that up from my parents. See, that's uh one thing, uh if um there was a third thing, but I've already forgot. Or oh, oh, the third thing. I mentioned this at some previous point in the series that they j didn't have the experience to finish them, so they took them out so that they wouldn't be half broken thing, which unfortunately there were a lot of half broken things in the game. There already, were already, so it was probably a good thing they didn't include a lot more half broken things. See, that's the thing about uh, Halo and all the older games. Yeah, they've got a good fan base and it's a really awesome game and thing, but you can't keep going on and on and on. Then it gets repetitive, it gets kind of generic, boring. Well, you gotta let it sit there for a while and just let it. Let well, it. So just... yeah, if Halo Five has to just play catch up and. You know, how can it move forward? Then, and well, back? yeah, if we have to play catch up with Halo Five, 
And then we can finally go forward in Halo 6, but then Halo 5 is a point is almost a pointless title. Yes, Halo 5 does have a story to it, and we do like the fiction, a lot of us like the fiction. But if we're not if Halo 5 won't make any advances in gameplay, we might as well be releasing a, 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 a an interactive visual novel. Yeah. So and the reason's been and people say the reason that they're not going to be able to they're that maybe at most will be able to play catch up is because they're only going to have two years. Yeah. And I'm sorry. I I do understand that people are a little less patient than they used to be in the old days, including That's... myself, including myself. But regardless of that, we obviously would love it if every year we could have, you know, the game or just at the moment that we want the next one, it was ready for us. And it was, you know, the you know, and it was and it was better, you know. Say Halo One to Halo Two, for instance, because you know, yeah. everybody liked Halo Two. Yeah, I should say, everybody would agree that Halo Two, you know, was an improvement. And I can it say, was. That, and and anybody who says otherwise, well, you know, there's always somebody who feels a particular way about something. Oh yeah, there's usually always at least one person who's. Bummed. There's always going to be one person who likes something, at least one. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so Halo Two was an improvement over Halo One. I'm sure there were a lot of people, maybe a year and a half after Halo One, they wanted that Halo Two. They wanted it now. See, that, like uh, that. Happens... It would have been great if we if it only took a a year to get exactly the Halo Two we got in only a year and a half. You know, that'd be great. You know, that'd be the idealistic world, but, you know, it ain't gonna happen that way. Yeah. So, you know, we've gotten into this habit of liking games that come out more frequently. Call of Duty. (coughs) Not just that. To be honest, there's a lot of games. A lot of games go for two-year development times now. Yeah, which is, uh, which is not right. And, well, some games can do it. Because some. Because some, some either A, take a little, take a little, take smaller steps, or some of them by nature have such, have a foundation that comprises so much of the game that that's the, that that part's quick. Gears of War? Sort of like Gears of War. Assassin's Creed, for instance, is one. Each game has, for the most part, been an improvement over the other, yet they can release one every year. Granted, I'm getting tired of the series because they release it every year. Yeah, that's but they have issue. been improving it because such a large base of it is the same because it's the core philosophy of the game. They don't really have to tweak much of the core philosophy. You would think, I mean, yes, you'd think Halo is the same way, but the core philosophy of the game is actually a small portion of it. It's first person and it's shooting. That's actually a very small portion of the game. It is. It's it's how it's how we use that shooting. And that first person. I think in recent Halo games, it's mainly uh, just looking at uh, the female models' butts the whole time, oh, more than the actual shooting. Like you believe, remember I the can't first. Believe you just brought that up. You remember the. This, this everyone was remembers... an, This was supposed to be an educated, educated discussion. Oh, it is educated. <laughs> I'm doing the uh, historical part. Everyone okay. remembers the first two weeks of Halo Reach. She's yes, launched. yes, yes, yeah. I'm mumbling now. Yeah. Oh, cool, new photo. Oh, and it's just cat. Never mind. That was cool. You know, if you, uh, actually, I'm not gonna go there. Uh, we should continue. Oh no, I, I was done. And um, and uh, unless the, unless I get surprised, and the Halo series has a great revival, I. Might be so bold as to say Microsoft keeping control of Halo might be the great detriment of the series. Yeah. Because I... Microsoft is really – I've heard that Microsoft is the one that pushes 343 to go for a two-year schedule. Most likely. And like I... I would believe it entirely. And there's two – the two things being either A, Microsoft doesn't understand – what it needs, or oh, no. B, they don't care. Oh no, Microsoft is more of a numbers company. If it doesn't show numbers, then it's a waste. And I'm I'm disappointed 
maybe the people at 343 think that they can do it, or maybe they think that what they make is, I mean, obviously if you make, obviously what they think they made is good, you know, with, you know, within reason. Yeah. Adult, uh, people who are adults can realize that the, what they make is, can be good, but it can also have problems. And it's always, and it's always hard to tell sometimes because sometimes you can't tell between whether they're being sincere or they're just speaking out of their rear end. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm always, I'm so, always, I'm so blunt, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, trust me. Uh, yeah, bluntness comparing me to you, you're like a katana. Nobody, would, nobody, would, nobody would hire. Nobody would hire me. The fa- I, th- I don't know if the fans would love me or hate me. I'd probably have that love hate. Either love me or hate me, because if if there was a problem, I would tell them straight. But the problem being, nobody would hire me to tell the fans what the problem was, because <laughs> I tell them to. I tell them straight. Yeah, you tell the truth. You don't just you don't pull well, an I mean, IGN and just oh, hey. well. I mean, the, there is there's only one truth, but uh, it's uh how much flowery pros and uh, how good you make that truth sound. Yeah. Well, uh, I think we've been uh, dragging this episode up for uh, a bit longer. Halo Five uh, should have a three year development. Halo Five should have as long as they want, well, as long as it doesn't. Pe- as long well, as it doesn't do, a you have Duke, to, you Duke do have to have forever. time limits. Otherwise, people Duke will Nukem dawdle. Forever. People will dawdle and not get as much done. Duke Nukem Forever. If that was that was the case. It's not they were at, the problem with that one. Is they weren't actively working on it. it kept, oh yeah, it kept getting shelved. But maybe that was probably its problem. People, different people kept working on it, so it became an amalgamated mess. Yeah, that and uh, they just wanted to keep adding features, add features, add features to the Halo, point that I know these. Are, so here's some. Sorry to interrupt you. Oh, that's it okay. reminded me. People like to use the words evolve and change. And those have become the buzzwords for the industry. Halo needs to advance. Yeah. It doesn't need to evolve. Evolve means to go cha- to turn from one state into another. Yeah. To change is to well, slight to change tweets. is to change. Yeah. Change could be good, change could be bad. It's but a little it's less changed. definitive. It's a little more ambiguous what exactly changes. But advance means that we stick with what we have. You know, we have our core. We advanced it. We have gone further in it. Yeah. We haven't changed to a core, to a new course, but we've advanced on our course. That's what Halo needs to do. It does. Um, that oh. We might keep some of those things that we've picked up when we've turned and changed our course. And to the good or bad, hard to say. Yeah, we might our core might have changed slightly now, but I think the problem is Halo needs to require reacquire its identity. They yeah, to, I like to point this out when people talk about any any game series. People talk about it and they say they'd like to bring in something from another series. I see it all the time for different game series. They think they should bring in this from this series, you know, for this game, for that game. They think they should bring in this for this series. That could work. Oh, and there's but one thing. But you have to keep each game series different. Otherwise, I think I mentioned this in some video. We're playing the same game, but in a different setting. And just to put it bluntly, we don't really have any shooters that follow the old fashioned arena style system. Halo still has the most presence to do that. I think it should go back to doing it just because we need we should ha- we should try to have something for everything. Yeah. Since nobody else is really trying to fill that gap, Halo has the most presence to do it. They should go with it. Actually, you there know, is... in the business world, if there's something missing, businesses say, "Can we make? Can we? Can we? Can we do something in that gap? People want this. Can we do? Can we go in there and do something and fill that gap?" Because we'll be the only ones that have it, so the people that want it have to come to us. Which is what Call of Duty did, but now they're just milking it. Oh, well, I mean, one... well, because well, that's the thing though. When somebody goes to fill that gap, other people see it then, and then they go for it. Now I'm, I'm just saying that because we do have a lot of that style of shooter now. Yeah. Not just people who try to emulate it. New people who come in try to bring their product. So we already have enough of that type. See, there's one game franchise. Not to say which one does it better anymore, but we already have enough of that type. Now, we, now we've got a gap. 
It's like people with MMORPGs. It became so popular with World of Warcraft, every new guy wanted to come in and get on the wagon. Yeah. And so I... now we had too many, especially all of the same type of MMORPG. You know what? And, and I know people like to bash that because, you know, oh, you're being a WoW clone, you're being a COD clone, you know, whatever the most popular thing is we're emulating in a certain genre. You're being an and we'll take clone the, well, that, that's be, technically, I guess, a way to phrase it. It's, you know, it's not a... It, it is a logical thing to do. You see something that's popular, you, know, you want to you wanna do it too. You know what? I want to uh, be in on the action. Exactly. But, uh, you, know what, you know, if everybody sees, you know, how, how much, you know, for instance, um, athletes make it be, or actors make it, be like, man, I'd love to do that. Well, not all of us can be the superstar, unfortunately. Yeah, you know, well, we, try, uh, we try to we take the acting classes, we take the, we go practice, but not all of us can be the superstar, even if we're just as good. Because you know, some of us just don't get the lucky break. Yeah, but then again, it's also luck that plays in a part, which I hope Ush becomes lucky. But um, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, there's one game franchise that I know that's being able to stay true to itself, but add a couple features to it that makes it uh modernized a bit. Which one and are you thinking of? Serious Sam. <laughs> I have never played Serious Sam. All right, for anyone who's uh, never heard about Serious Sam, <laughs> anyone who's still it. here. <laughs> yeah, anyone who's made it this far, I salute you, and uh, go play Serious Sam. It's awesome. If you like blood, it's your game. Uh, well, I think we finished. I think I've expressed my opinion. Halo yeah. Five should probably do a three-year development period. Three four three needs to find the identity of Halo. Decide where they are in the market. What? What? You can't. Like I said, not everybody can be the superstar. Yeah. So you have to sell. You have to sell. You have to sell to the people who will buy well, you. Again, you don't always have to be the superstar. You could always just be that. That one guy that. Uh... I I only th I think the only fear is is um. Is the is the the problem with stigma? Yeah. Uh, it's, um, Remember back. What's a, the... what's a good example? Well, Star Wars is a good example, like I've like I've used earlier in the series. Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi were so successful and so well received that um, it was such a thing to live up to. And you know, granted, Star Wars hasn't had the same problem with Halo. It hasn't been, It hasn't necessarily fallen from its top position, perhaps slightly. You know, as the, you know, the most favored franchise possibly in Hollywood at the moment. Perhaps yeah. it's fallen from its pedestal, perhaps not. We haven't had a new movie in about the same hi period of hiatus we had in between the first trilogy and the last trilogy. It appears to be a running trend. You know what, Aaron? There's also one other thing that companies have stopped doing that's uh, really put a halt on really awesome, unique games. That is? Remember back when the companies had the balls to do something new? Well, yeah, yeah, we've all heard the stories, you know, the increase of the uh, amount of expectation that's required now causes, you know, more budget because you need more people, more people means more money. Yeah. And we've all heard, well, well, you know, that's all the advertising money. Well, you know, I don't know, maybe for Activision. For uh, for Halo, they need to get their head out of the Mountain Dew and Doritos. <laughs> uh... Uh, you know, what? you know I, I perhaps I'm a little naive, but with the internet nowadays, I would imagine that. Granted, Halo Four Forward Unto Dawn was at least one of the most entertaining um, marketing budgets that I've ever seen. I think the last. So at the, least uh, we got something out of it. Yeah, but I granted, think now the, we have to buy it. I think the last half. I mean, I think uh, about halfway and beyond. That was when it became uh, really Halo. The first half was more gushy, lovey, dubby stuff. The last well, half was uh, they, that was Halo. They, it was a, uh, it was a mix of attempting to get it. Halo, st Halo still has the Halo still has the problem like most video games who are br trying to branch out into other media. They they need to try. They have to set it up in such a way that outsiders. I'm going to use this term rather frequently. Uh, will take an interest in it. It has oh, to look. It has to look like something that we've seen before. Uh, like for instance, it has to it has to give a similar feel to other science fiction, roughly speaking, that's been established in the film industries. 
in order for outsiders to come in and look at it as an interesting sci-fi to watch. You know, you, ha you, you have to convince them that this is an interesting sci-fi you want to watch, not, well, this is a movie based off of a video game. Yeah. Which, I mean, yes, it is. Kind of. Sort of. More like a video game universe. But you have to convince them that this is... This is good. This is a good sci-fi to watch, which is why I'm always an arduous proponent that video game movies should not, should not follow the story of any one game. It's always been the philosophy that you had to do that because, well, then nobody would watch it. Yeah. But I don't think that's true. If you have gotten to the point where your universe has been established enough for the possibility of using stories elsewhere and we know Halo has they've done many many books so they've in, they've gotten into the book industry they have been able to establish themselves well perhaps it's just by by virtue of their large fan base perhaps they're not accepted into the sci the, the 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 world of sci-fi novels perhaps not perhaps they've only had success due to their large fan base i don't know the answer to that question uh but, Grant, regardless, they've had success with the they novels. They have. They've had success with the novels, as shown by how many they've made. So, regardless of the question, the answer, slightly important, the answer, but regardless, it shows they've had success. I think, with that, it should show them that they can take it into visual media. Obviously, video games are visual media, but... Static visual media, which they are. They're going to make a TV series. It's their, it's their first foray. Well, unless it falls through, then it'll just be like all the other attempts. Yeah. But provided it is successful, it will be their first foray into expanding the universe into static visual media by you doing television. I know I've just been kind of rambling on and on and on about this, but... Oh, it's fine. You know what? I, do you think we should end it right here? I suppose. Oh, um, before we end it, here's We've a picture... We've almost been talking for a half hour. The video was only about six minutes. Holy seven crap. Minutes. Oh, um, uh, for the people who have uh, waited throughout this whole thing, for our just to show for our uh, some... dialogue. <laughs> just to show some uh, gratitude gratification uh gratitude and because i got bored and because i uh, went on google for a second here's a picture of samus and snake high-fiving good night so everybody. i need to uh add this in i guess yep good night everybody and see yeah. you on next time of pumping phase oh dumping phase on good night